Am I the asshole? For refusing to pay $45 for a soda and half an appetizer? Last weekend, one of my friends organized a group of people to go do fall things. We rented a van and went to a few breweries wineries. When we got back, we stopped at a pub to hang a bit before going home. There were about 12 of us so they seated us at a table. People ordered food and drinks. When the check came, one of the guys quickly gave his card and after signing, looked around and said okay everyone Venmo me $45. This threw me off because many people had ordered meals, sides, drinks and shots. I had ordered a Diet Coke I had to drive 1.5 hours home and shared an appetizer with my husband. I asked if we could each Venmo him for what we ordered and he seemed annoyed. He sent everyone a pic of the receipt and had everyone Venmo him for what they got. For context, I'm fine splitting the bill evenly when everyone orders roughly the same thing. But also if I ever put my car down, I always ask everyone if they want to split it evenly or not, not just assume. My husband thinks I'm being cheap and should have just split the bill evenly with everyone. I know I'm more money conscious than others so I'm wondering am I the a hole? ETA we were expected to pay $90 including tax and tip for me and my husband, since my husband did have a drink and a shot in addition to what I had, our actual total we ended up paying came out to $53 including tax and tip. Not the asshole. Why should you pay for other people's food? Just pay for what you had coke and appetizer shared with your husband. What 20 max? Was our husband expected to pay as well? Not the asshole, this happened a lot at a company I used to work for. My boss would always say they'd pay and we could split the bill later, turns out they wanted the credit card points they'd earn for a large purchase. They would also occasionally do things like forget the receipt or say they left a really good tip so everyone would throw in extra for tip and tax. After a while we were pretty sure they were using it to pay for their own portion. I ask for my own bill at my first interaction with the server now no matter who I'm with. Not the asshole. Splitting a check should be decided ahead of time, it's not that hard to do your math especially if there are big swings between bills. Not the asshole this is not a you're cheap but a he's greedy. I bet he ate more than $45 worth of food. As a general rule, anyone who offers to pay for the entire table without being asked and without there being a need is either one covering everyone and being super generous or two pulling some kind of bullshit like this. The only benefit to paying with one tab when everyone was prepared to pay separately and then doing Venmo after is to farm credit card benefit points and or try to get your bill free steal a small amount from everyone at the table. Not the asshole can't fucking stand people who do this. The guy orders half his body weight in food and alcohol and then gets to look all magnanimous by putting the bill on his credit one card even though he's basically using his friends as coupons. Not the asshole you aren't cheap, you aren't willing to pay more for others who might take advantage of splitting evenly. Funny thing I saw several times those who want to split evenly are usually those who get the most drinks and or are most expensive food. That way they can save some bucks and others don't want to speak up because they will be called cheap from exactly those persons. Not the asshole what is this trend of be expected to subsidize other people's meals? Weird question is this an American thing? Splitting the bill evenly? Canadian here? and I have never encountered this in my near 50 years on this planet. The server just asks which people get billed together and then each person couple group gets their own bill. I keep seeing bill splitting disputes on am I the asshole? And it's the weirdest thing to me. That's messed up. Checks should be split ahead of time not just one takes care of it. Large parties need to discuss ahead of time. But of course you shouldn't be paying for others meals. Not the asshole. Someone doesn't get to unilaterally decide that it's being split evenly. Not the asshole. Especially when drinks are involved there are way too many people who will try to take advantage of a split check. In photos your husband actually think your behavior is being cheap? Or is he repeating comments he's getting from folks and doesn't like being told that his spouse is cheaper? 
Not the arsehole doesn't seem like he even asked. Just immediately put it all on his card for reward points and then told everyone to pay him back. When the spend disparity is this high pretty rude to ask you to pay the same. Not the arsehole. That's why I always, always, have separate checks when I go out. Not the arsehole. Your husband is wrong. There is no reason to be subsidizing other people's meals. This happened to me once. A friend called me years ago and asked me to stop by her dinner with ten work friends. They had already been there almost two hours. I had a glass of wine and an appetizer and stayed twenty minutes they split the bill and tried to get me to pay ninety-five dollars. I had no problem leaving twenty dollars and walking out of there. Not the asshole. I absolutely hate these people. Guarantee he ate drank over the $45 and is so obtuse that he doesn't understand that you pay for what you consume. Screw him and once again, not the asshole. Not the asshole. The guy who took the check is. And so is your husband. When we order in a group my husband or I always point to who we are paying for and say put us on the same bill to avoid issues like this. Always get your own bill. Tell the server immediately when you are ordering. We just went on a vacay with four other couples. The first few nights, we took turns paying. Finally, one night, I asked the server for a separate bill. The others did too. I would have just sent the amount for the soda and appetizer and whatever husband drank. I always ask for separate bill when I give the waitress my order. Not the asshole. I learnt a long time ago when going out with group that when the server comes to me I ask for a separate check. Save so much aggravation. Not the asshole. You paid your fair share. There are a few people I will split the check with because they order pretty much the same way I do. Sometimes they get an advantage of a few dollars or s sometimes I do, but everything balances in the long run. There are other people I will never split the bill with because they order much more extravagantly than I do, so we always do separate checks. Yeah, no. I got screwed once by my in-laws. My husband and I each had a beer and split an appetizer, less than $30 we had eaten earlier that's it. The bill came and no one could figure it out. Foreign country, so different money. Plus they were drinking a lot of frozen margaritas and pina coladas everyone put in what they thought they owed, they all miscounted their drinks and we were $90 short. It got to the point of embarrassment so we threw in the $90. So $120 for two beers and a $10 appetizer and we asked for a separate check from them on. The only time everyone should split the bill evenly is if they bought a collective meal that was shared by everybody. Example, multiple dishes at a Chinese restaurant served from a rotating tray at the center of the table wax is nostalgic. Not the asshole but you should have requested a separate bill. Negotiating who owes what on a 12-person bill is a pain. Not the asshole. Wanting to pay for what you ordered isn't cheap but eating drinking way more than someone else and expecting them to cover half of it is. Bill splitting sucks because it invites exactly this and I'd never speak to someone again if they pull this shit. Not the asshole. What kind of people ask a designated driver to split the drinks bill in a pub? Not the asshole. You got a budget conscious meal, and someone is forcing you to split everything in his viewed way when you didn't know it would be an even split. What he did was not courteous. The guy was just trying to get miles cash back etc, and it's easier for him to collect if everyone splits evenly, versus having to verify if the money he gets matches the respective spendings. It's a risk you take to get the spending benefits, and it's an A move for him to try to rough shod through. Totally not the asshole. Glad you stood up for yourself. Your husband is wrong, full stop. Not the asshole why should you pay for the others to eat and drink? Nata. You are not obligated to pay for other guys stuff. Not the asshole. I admit that I am sometimes tempted to over order so as not to subsidize other people. This is such bullshit. Not the asshole. I'll never understand why people are so averse to just paying for what they ordered. 
I'm convinced that the people trying to split the tickets evenly are doing so just to have others subsidize their own expensive meal. I've also found it strange that in some regions of the US the culture leans so heavily into even splits that restaurants will not even break the bill into separate tickets. In my city literally every waiter asks how the bill is being split. Not ah. Not the asshole. Bill splitting is bullshit because of stuff like this. There's always someone ordering shit they wouldn't if they were going to pay for it, and the person like OP who would get screwed for it. That's a shitty group if they know what you had to. Separate checks. Not the asshole. I hate that. I'll pay for my stuff. I'm not subsidizing your spinach dip for Leisha. Why do people do this? Just get your own bills. Not the asshole. I would have a huge problem paying $45 for half an appetizer and a soda as well. Why should you have to pay for even a portion of someone else's meal? It's unreasonable to ask that of people. Yeah, I wouldn't pay either. Not ah. I had the same experience where the bill was $500 and me and then girlfriend ate $30 worth of food. I paid $30 and a tip. Not the asshole you're not being cheap you're just not getting rinsed by a steamrollering dude who needs to chill and just ask before assuming and taking charge. You shouldn't have to pay for other people to eat full meals and do shots. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm guessing the person with the card consumed way more than $45 in food and drink. Expecting others to cover your meal? Now that's cheap. If you overpay like that even once a month, it adds up to hundreds per year you and your husband could use for yourselves.